So you have a cool animation and you have cool camera angles, but you need that slow-mo action. Not a problem. Now we could do this with animation montage notifies like we did with the camera angle, but like I said in the last tutorial, the problem with that is if the animation is interrupted, we would probably be stuck in slow-mo forever. So a simple solution to this is a notify state instead. To set this up first in your character blueprint, right click and create a new custom event. We'll just call it time trigger, drag out a flip flop and then drag out a timeline and then name it something like smooth time. Double click it and add a float track and name the float time speed. Now I'm going to set the length to half a second and then we're going to right click and add two points and the first is going to be at zero and one and the second will be at 0.5 and 0.1. Then shift select both points and right click and pick auto to smoothen them out. Save and now drag update into a set global time dilation, connect the shift rate to the time dilation and drag B into reverse. So what this means is when the custom event is called, it's going to smoothly transition the speed of time from one to 0.1 within about half a second. Then the next time it's called, it's going to do the exact same thing, but in reverse. Great. Now we can create our notify state to do that. Right click blueprint class anim notify state and name the float. And at the top under functions, we will want to override the beginning and end. Let's start with the begin, drag out a cast to character blueprint. Then from the mesh comp, get owner, connect them. Then from the character blueprint, drag out your custom event that controls the time. Then drag all of that into the return node. Awesome. Save and then copy this and paste it into the end function and plug it up the exact same way. All right. Now all we got to do is go into the animation montage and at the bottom, add a new track, then right click and add a notify state. Find the state that you just created and drag it out so that it covers the part of the animation that you want to be in slow mo. I want the slow motion to start around this point and I want it to end at around here. Save. You're done. Congratulations. You are now a master of time. Hope that helps and as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.